But by that time, if no progress in treatment and prevention is made, over 16 million African children would have been killed by malaria. And 90% of all malaria-related deaths are children under the age of 5. We need to turn these facts around. Help save a life. Give to my. My name's Peter Singer, and I'm a professor of medicine and director of the McLaughlin Rotman Center for Global Health at the University Health Network and the University of Toronto. Uh, my name is Abdullah Dara. I'm a professor of public health sciences and uh, of surgery at the University of Toronto. And uh, at the McLaughlin Rodman Center for Global Health, I'm the director of the program on ethics and commercialization. The McLaughlin Rotman Center is focused on innovation and global health. So um, it envisions a world where there are innovative diagnostics, drugs, vaccines, medical devices um, that reach everyone in the world who needs them. We're very focused on the idea of uh, lab to village and how life science discoveries go from the laboratory to end users in the developing world. Well, you know we live in a small world. Uh, you can be in Africa in the morning and in Toronto a few hours later and uh, you can carry diseases back and forth. Uh, so malaria is just one example. And in, 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 in Toronto, there are several malaria cases every year for people who've been traveling. But uh, even more than malaria in this case are diseases like uh, pandemic flu. Uh, and we really ought to be thinking about uh, diseases of this kind uh, on a global scale. I've seen a lot of families, particularly in rural Africa, where I come from, who have actually lost so many children, many children from malaria, but also adults who cannot work because they spend a lot of time seeking medical attention when they're sick. Most of them cannot afford the drugs, most of them cannot uh, afford to doctor services and then also there are a lot of fake drugs so they end up buying counterfeit drugs that do not really cure the disease so there's a big malaria is causing a lot of mortality and uh, morbidity in most african countries to my for tomorrow is a student organization at glen forest secondary school that is raising community awareness and money for malaria research and treatment to my the gift of hope is what we dream of giving to the people of Africa affected by this disease. In 2008, our first annual charity dinner gala was held. We hope to continue this tradition for years to come. Together with the McLaughlin Rotman Center, we, we will, will fight malaria. malaria. You can join us in our campaign of hope. To my for tomorrow. tomorrow. 